Involved in these big massive throws, make sure that you can grip fight with discipline and put your hands where they need to be. Make sure you take the time to learn O Uchi, Ko Uchi, and O Soto Gari and work on the foundational parts of your game while you're learning the standard gripping sequence, sleeve the pell, and the basic gripping sequence. The pell, the pell, sleeve. One, two, drag, drag, three. One, two, step out, three. Got it? And one of the most important things is understanding the importance of the standard. But the standard is sleeve lapel. Sleeve lapel. The reason why we call it standard gripping sequence is because that is where you want to really eventually end up. You have all the throws available to you for your sleeve and lapel, okay? Now, you want to try to get the standard. If somebody lets you come out and grab the sleeve and the panel, fantastic, great. Rarely happens at the Rufus. Not, not at the, if you find a yellow belt or white belt, they'll let you grab the sleeve and the panel. But at the world class level, nobody's letting you grab the sleeve and the panel. But you try to initiate the standard first. Hands up. When I reach for his sleeve, and when we get more advanced, I'm reaching for all four what? Fingers, all right? I reach for his sleeve first. He pulls his sleeve back. Now watch my foot placement. One, two, shake, shake, three. Then I can implement my other grip fight sequences, sequences. Now I'm talking about the standard going into the basic for right now. You can also go into the, the catch and the cross. But you have to start out with the standard to make that either you get the sleeve or they move the sleeve or back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the standard into the basic. Here we go. Now notice, I don't do this, pull it back, I'm here. 